The altitude intercept method is the most commonly used method of sight reduction when using a sextant for celestial navigation purposes. Put very simply, what we do is we compare an observed altitude, that's an altitude that was actually measured with a sextant, corrected of course, with a calculated altitude that's given to us by a sight reduction table. In um, most instances, it'll be HO229 or HO249 air navigation tables. There's another way of doing it. You can do the direct calculation using a calculator. Either way, we're going to have three entry arguments. We're going to have the latitude of the observer. That's the dead reckoned latitude of the observer. We're going to have the declination of the sun. In our instance, uh, we are using the sun. And we're going to have a local hour angle. Now, let's just see where those fit into our spherical triangle that we have. Here's our triangle uh, made up of the dead reckoned position of the observer, the elevated pole, which in this case is the north pole because the observer uh, is in the northern hemisphere. And then we have our GP. Um, in our example, the GP is in the southern hemisphere. That means we have a contrary name declination. That's important. It's something we're going to have to keep in mind later when we start entering the numbers. The advantage of using a calculator and just calculating directly as opposed to using HO229 or HO249 is that you can, you can actually enter the numbers with minutes, uh, decimal minutes. Uh, you, can't, uh, you can't do that when you're using HO229. Uh, you have to put in whole integers. Okay, so it's a little bit easier. The LHA is always measured from the observer westward to the GP, always. It's only ever westward and only ever from the observer to the GP. It's never eastward from the observer to the GP. It's never westward from the GP to the observer. Only ever westward and only ever from the observer to the GP. Okay. The calculator I'm going to be using is a Casio FX300 uh, ES Plus, and it has a number of programmable variables. Uh, there's nine of them in total, but we're going to be using uh, five of them. We're going to assign latitude, declination, and LHA to the first three um, variables. We're going to calculate HC, and then we're going to assign that to variable D. And then we're going to calculate the azimuth angle, and we're going to assign that to E. So let's just take a look at how that's done. Okay, so here's our calculator, and it's already been switched on. And the first thing we're going to do is assign the latitude to variable A. So let's get cracking. 27 degrees, 0, 0.0 minutes, shift, store, A. So we've assigned the latitude of the dead reckoning to variable A. Because we're dealing with a contrary name declination, it's a negative number, negative 18 degrees and 34.7 minutes. And we're going to assign that to variable B. There we go. So there we have our contrary name declination assigned to B. Now we're going to assign the local hour angle to C, 359 degrees. 0, 0.0 minutes, and we shift store to C. So let's just recall. Recall A. There we go. That's our latitude. Recall B, our contrary name declination. Recall C, and there we have our local hour angle. And now we can calculate and solve HC. So let's do that. Sign, recall latitude times sine recall declination plus cosine latitude times cosine declination times cosine LHA. And there we have the inverse sine uh, of 0 0.699804. We're going to assign this number to D. 
shift store D. Okay, there we go. Answer has been assigned to D. Now we're going to determine the angle. Shift inverse sine recall D equals. There we go. So we have an angle of 44.411 degrees. We want that in degrees and minutes. So we hit the sexagesimal button again. There we go, 44 degrees and 24 minutes and 40 seconds. 40 seconds is around about uh, two thirds of a minute. So what could that, that could be then 44 degrees, 24.7. So now we're going to assign the angle to D. Shift, store, D. There we go. And now we're going to solve for the azimuth angle. So let's do that. Sine, recall, declination, minus, sine, recall, latitude, multiplied by sine, recall, hc, equals that, divide by the cosine of the latitude divided by the cosine of HC. There we go, that's our um, inverse cosine of the angle. So we now want to um, assign this value to variable E. Shift, store, E. There we go. So the answer has been assigned to variable E. Now we want the angle. Shift, inverse cosine, recall E, brackets, and there we go. That's our, ang that's our azimuth angle Z uh, of 178.67 degrees. We hit the sexagesimal button again because we want it in degrees and minutes. And uh, let's just take a look at that. Brilliant. There we go. We have an angle of 178 degrees and 40 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, okay, so what's 22? It's, about, it's roughly a third. So we could say then that that's about 178 degrees and 40.3 minutes, very roughly. Okay, magic. So what we're going to do now is then assign that angle to E. Shift, store, E. And there we have it. We've assigned the answer to variable E. And let's just see if we've still got everything. Recall A, that's our latitude. Recall B, that's our country name declination. Recall C, that was our LHA. Recall D, that was our angle HC, the computed um, altitude angle, and recall E, and that was our azimuth angle. In this instance, the azimuth angle Z is equal to true azimuth Zn. Zn is always calculated from 12 o'clock and in a clockwise direction. In this instance, because we're, it's a morning site and we have an observer in the northern hemisphere with an LHA greater than 180 degrees, Z is equal to Zn. So it makes it a little bit easier. I'll put a link in the description to the angles where I got this from, where, well, where I got the angles from. It's a YouTube channel called The Nav Station. They've got a brilliant set of videos about uh, celestial navigation. Anyone wanting to learn about um, cell nav uh, could do worse than to actually visit that channel. Uh, it will also give you an opportunity to compare calculated HC and Z with tabulated HC and Z. They're very, 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 very close because the, t um, the tables are obviously derived from these two calculations. That's it.